Happy Easter, everyone. How are you doing? Yeah. Today is an Easter day. I hope everyone is doing amazing. Everyone is doing great. Yeah. Today I'm going to talk about, talking about today, the message of God. How God sent his only son to this earth to come and die for us. That is to say how much God loves us. How much God cares for us. We human. How much God is interested in us. Yes. We are looking for love. The best person that can love us, love us more than we love ourselves. It's no other person but our Lord Jesus Christ. And this Easter day, this Easter Sunday is a day to remember of all the suffering and of all the pain, of, of all the tears that Jesus went through, the Son of God went through, and how he came out victoriously. This is the day of victory, the day that the Lord himself has made. The day to celebrate him. Today to celebrate our salvation, to celebrate the lover of our soul, the best one that can love us even as we journey through this life. Yes, I'm talking about the message of God, talking about the love of God today. That the love of God brought us, we humor this far, even when we don't deserve it. The message of God was speaking on our behalf. The love of God is speaking on our behalf. That is why he said in his word, Come now, let us reason together. Say the Lord. Is your sin as that? So is it so dark? He said he can make them so wide. What is that thing that you think the Lord cannot forgive you? This is the time that the lover of your soul is saying, Come on, my beloved child. Come on, I love you so much. You are my own apple. I made you in the, my own image and after my likeness. You are the apple of God's eyes, says the scripture, says the word of God. So this time of resurrection, this is time of joy. Let nothing pull you back because this is a time of mercy. This is the time of love. Come on to the Savior Jesus. He has done all the finished work for you. You have, you don't have any reason to doubt. You don't have any reason to think God was not merciful to you. He's not good enough. Oh, you are not good enough. No, you don't need to be good enough for God to love you. He just loves you because He made you. He know what He knows the stuff that He has made. Yes, the devil is trying to mess up with you and make you feel less of who God has made you to be. Through my voice, the Lord is saying. Come on, my beloved child. I love you. I'm interested in you. I have a plan for you. I have a purpose for you. My plans for you, they are of good. They are not of evil. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. They are of good, not of evil, to take it to a wonderful, glorious, expected end. You say, come on, come on. Did you go to church today? Or you didn't go to church today? It's okay. The Lord is calling you. He's calling you. Say, come on. Don't allow the, the people around you, the way they serve God, to make you to feel God doesn't like you. Or to make you to feel, oh, if these people are this way, ah, I can't serve God. You can serve God because God is calling you. He's not, he's not calling on everyone. He's saying, anyone that will believe in him. You know, see John chapter 3 verse 16 say, anyone that believes, they're going to be saved. They're going to be restored. Their soul will not perish, but have everlasting, glorious life. So, what is that thing that is trying to pull you down away from God's presence? Through my voice this day saying, come on, come on. Let nothing pull you. Let no man pull you. No human being on the surface of this earth. It works your salvation apart from Jesus' blood that was shed for your sin. So, don't let the, the, the deceptive nature of mankind to say, ah, I can't go to church because of this person. You have no excuse. I can't accept Jesus because of this person. Oh, you have no excuse. Why? Because the love of God for you is just too much. The blood that he shed is just too precious. It's precious than what you can even imagine. Yeah. So, through my voice is saying, come on to me. Come on, my love you. I'm interested in you. Yeah. I'm in Come on, I'm interested in you. I so much love you. I so much care for you. Not just, I don't just love you. I don't just care for you. I have plans for you. Like, wow. What is that situation before you? What is that hard time before you? What is that difficult moment before you? The Lord is saying, cast them at my foot. Leave them there. Come, let us reason. Come, let us have conversation together. Come, let's us fellowship together. Come, let's be friends. That's what the Lord Jesus is speaking through my voice. Say, so, yeah. Say, so, come, let's be friends. Let's be friends. Let's have some good time together. 
Yes. When the king of kings, the lord of lords, the ancients of days, the one whom heaven is destroyed, Jesus earth is his first to, he's saying, come, let's be friends. Wow. What an honor. What a privilege for us to go to him and be friend of Jesus. Yeah. So this is Easter Sunday, the day that the Lord has risen. When he said the day the Lord has risen, why is it, like? it, it implies a lot of beautiful things. It means, ah, the pains are gone. He says, by your stripe, by his stripe, you made whole. Yeah. Also by his stripe, you are delivered from all forms of oppression. Is it financial oppression, sickness oppression? Is it a mental oppression? What, what name it? Is it that he doesn't have even have a diagnosis yet? You're free from it all. You are free from it all. Yeah. So no matter what is going on, remember, even in the storm, what was Jesus doing? He was busy sleeping. That is to say, even in the storms of life, when Jesus is in that boat of yours, you can be still peaceful. No matter how the storms, the storm might look. It might look very terrible. But that peace is just, he said, my peace, I live with you. My peace, I give you, not as the word give it. Yes. So through my voice, the Lord is saying, come. In this channel, we are going to be praying. We're going to be doing a lot of prayers, intercession, prayers, prayers, studying the word of God, prayers, prayers, praying with the word of God, prayers, fasting. Yeah. So this, if you've had this video, I'd like you to share it. Turn it up. Tell a friend about this channel. And may the Lord God bless you as you support this channel. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray if you've not had Jesus in your heart before. Say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I just want to say thank you for dying for me. I receive you as my Lord. I receive into my heart. Come cleanse me and do something with me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Now you, yourself and Jesus, your partners. Yeah. Your friends. Yeah. Your lovers. Yeah. So share this video as I area said. Turn up this video. I say, say, see you all in my next one. Bye for now.